Hey there and welcome. Welcome to my kitchen in a small town in Southern Minnesota. Today, I want to share a really simple recipe with you. I'm just going to cut to the chase. So there's no fancy lighting here. There's no fancy clothes. There is nothing fancy about this. In fact, I don't even really have a true recipe for this, but something that I keep stumbling across as I meet more and more women who want to heal their guts is that they're sick and tired of getting these recipes that are this long, contain 17 different ingredients from all different grocery stores. They're so expensive. It's, it's time, you know, it takes up too much time, costs too much, and it just gets so overwhelming. So I had this idea to just start sharing with you like really simple things that I do every single day that are practical and easy, use minimal ingredients, and that you can kind of tinker with as much as you want. So um, tonight for dinner, we are going to have one of my favorite slow cooked chicken recipes. And I know that right now the Instant Pot is all the rage. I have a lot of recipes that use the Instant Pot, but I am still such a fan of the slow cooker. This thing is old. This is just like a small old crock pot that I got way back when, at the beginning of my healing journey. And I still love to use it because uh, one, one of the things that I learned early on in my healing journey is that you should always go slow and go. So the slower that we cook things, um, the more easy that, or the easier that they will be to digest. And so I never forgot that. And that's not to say that you can't use the Instant Pot, of course, it's, it's great. You know, there's so many benefits for it, but I really just love this idea of slowing down and even when it comes to cooking. So I'm gonna show you this really quickly. This is so delicious. So I have here um, chicken thighs. Now, I always get our chicken from a local, um, a local organic farmer, and I buy the chicken thighs with the skin on. I, don't, I rarely will get boneless, skinless chicken breast because when you want to get something that's organic, it is so much more expensive to get it um, and, and have it be the boneless, skinless chicken. So I don't usually do that. Um, but anyway, you can do whatever you want. So I just put a chicken in there. There's about six pieces in here, six chicken thighs. And then all you do before you're gonna turn the slow cooker on is you're gonna dress it up. So the first thing that I wanna do is I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it. Um, it's in my cupboard. So I just drizzle a little olive oil on it. And again, I just eye this, just a little drizzle. Um, and that just coats it a little bit, just also makes it so that it doesn't stick to the slow cooker. Um, and I love the flavor of olive oil. It's so good and it's so good for us. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I do is I'm going to put some coconut aminos over it. And this is, I love coconut aminos because it mimics soy sauce, but there's no soy in it and it's sweet. <laughs> so um, I have a sweet tooth. So if you ever want like that uh, sweeter chicken recipe, this is great to use. So I'll just, I just sprinkle it over. Um, I would say there's maybe a few tablespoons in there. You don't want too much, but again, this is completely up to you, however you wanna do it. So I use the Thrive Market brand of organic coconut aminos, but you can use whatever you'd like. Uh, the next thing that I do is this is kind of my secret ingredient. So I found this actually at our local Walmart. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in a really small town in Southern Minnesota, so we don't even have a grocery store here. So I get everything off of Thrive Market or I go to Walmart. Um, and so I found this, it's this company called Vermont Village. I have no affiliation to them. I just truly, truly love their product. Um, but they have a couple different um, um, blends of raw and unfiltered apple cider vinegar. So this is turmeric and honey, and this one is ginger and honey. So for tonight, the way that I wanna flavor our chicken is with the ginger and honey. Now, I will read off the ingredients because they're super clean, super awesome. It's just raw, organic, and unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother, water, organic honey, and organic ginger. So this might not be your best option if you have SIBO because of the honey, but there's such a small amount that you probably wouldn't notice it anyways. I just love it because it has the apple cider vinegar in it, which is a great meat tenderizer, by the way. And I also love it because it just gives a little bit of extra um, anti-inflammatory 
um, goods because it has the turmeric in it and the ginger. So this pours very fast, but I will just, I don't know, I'd say I probably use about a fourth cup of it. It's really inexpensive and it's so good. You can use this on tons of things, but I just discovered it with my slow cooked chicken and I love it. And then just the last few things that I do really are just um, purely for extra flavor. So I do put some freeze dried garlic on it. Sometimes I'll put fresh garlic on it. Um, this is also something that if you have SIBO, it is high fat enough, so you wouldn't do this, but we love garlic. And now that my SIBO is healed, I have garlic as often as possible. It's really good for you. Um, and then I will just put a little bit of pepper on. And the last thing I do is just put a little bit of salt. So you'll, you'll notice a lot when we are cooking together that I don't use a lot of salt on anything. And that is very intentional. The reason is because I think that salt is such a personal thing and you can always add more of it at the end, but you can't take it out. So this is a salt mixture that I actually make myself. Um, it's salt and then I just take herbs. I buy fresh herbs at the store and let them dry and then crumble them in here. So this is some like rosemary, um, some salt, some thyme. And I just put a little bit over and that's it. That is literally it. The only thing left to do is to put the cover on and I'm gonna turn it on low. And because these are already thawed, I am going to say that it'll probably take anywhere from two to three hours to be completely done. And then you can eat it as is, you could serve it over with salads. Um, the way that we're going to eat it is I'm going to make uh, rice in my rice cooker and uh, yeah that's it so if you like this video please comment below with another uh, recipe or idea that you'd love for me to talk about and I hope you have a great day